If you want to change your life for the better, you're going to have to make daily changes. But to figure out what you need to do in your life, to plan your life, to kind of get yourself going in the right direction, to do that, you're going to need to get hyper-focused. And the best way to get hyper-focused on planning your life is to take a personal retreat. Stay tuned to Distinctions for Life, and I'll tell you a little more about personal retreats. Hi, I'm your host, Ron Davis. Welcome to Distinctions for Life. If you're going to plan something, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it a little bit every day and make a big change over time, or you can get hyper-focused and do it all at once. Some planning tasks are better off to be done over time, but planning your life, trying to figure out where you're going to go and what direction you're going to get, that's better off to do at one concentrated moment. What I like to do, and I do about on a yearly basis, is I take a personal life planning retreat. This is where I go off and I get off by myself and I focus on the big picture things, the things that are hard to focus on on a daily basis but that have to be affecting every day of your life. That's what a life plan is, is to know the big picture things that you need to know that are coming up in your life and the things that you need to know to deal with your life on a daily basis. And I do this via a life planning retreat. There are four advantages to doing a life planning retreat that I'm going to talk about today. There are a lot of advantages but I only have time for four. Number one, remove distractions. Nothing will kill the process. Nothing will kill your focus like distractions. That means turning off the phone, keeping people from being able to walk in on you, uh, stopping email, turning off Twitter, stopping the text messages. All this stuff is just constantly coming at you. You need to get those things away from you. You need to get away from those things. Eliminate distractions is the first tip. And the best way for me to eliminate distractions is just to get completely away from them, to go somewhere where there aren't any distractions. Um, what I do is I actually go to a completely different town. I will, I will leave town and go somewhere else because I know that there aren't any distractions there. And I will pick a place there that's quiet and I normally go to a library. Tip number two is to get out of context. I go to a completely different city. I get completely out of town. You know, there's an old saying, if you keep doing the things you've always done, you'll keep getting the results you've always gotten. And that turns out that's true of our subconscious as well. If our subconscious is surrounded by things that we're always surrounded by, then we'll keep having the same kind of thoughts that we always have. But if you get out of context, if you go somewhere that's different, now your mind goes into another mode. There's information, new things coming into your mind all the time. Your mind's in this mode of processing all these new information. And that new information makes your mind think in a new way. And that's what you need to do when you're trying to plan your life. You need to think about it in ways you haven't thought about it before. So getting out of context, going to another town, going to uh, another place, another kind of place, that will really enhance your planning process. Tip number three is stacking related tasks. When you're planning your life, if you, if you stretch it out over time, then the things that you do, the exercises that you do as part of the planning process, they're separated mentally from each other by time. But if you do them all in one day, then they're one right after another with just a break in between, but pretty close right after another. And so the processes that you do in, in like say, your first exercise affect more greatly your second exercise. So you get this kind of snowballing effect where you've got one process affecting the other process, affecting the next process. And so you get this holistic view of your planning process. Tip number four, ask the right questions. You know, you can get hyper-focused, you can stack things on top of each other, you can get out of context, but if you're asking the wrong questions, you're following the wrong map, you're gonna end up in the wrong place. So it's important that you, you ask yourself the right questions when you're doing these kind of retreats. When you're on your own, when you're looking at your life, you need to be asking yourself the right questions. Because really, when it comes down to it, this whole planning process, it's just asking and answering questions. And you need to have the right map or you're gonna end up in the wrong place. And our action step for today is to do a personal life planning retreat, okay? Get out on your own, get focused, go out and plan your life. Look at the things, examine your life, examine where it is, where you want it to go, figure those kind of things out. That's our action steps for today. Resources. I'm proud to say that today's resource is the Distinctions for Life Life Planning Personal Retreat Guide. 
This is um, something that I've prepared for you. I've created some uh, different exercises, the ones I've used in my personal life planning retreat over time. Uh, I've given you a guide that tells you exactly how to do a life planning retreat, and it does a whole bunch of other things. You know, it'll, it'll help you plan it, it'll help you schedule it, it'll help you accomplish it, and then it will guide you through the process of that day. It will give you the right questions to ask. And then after the day is over, I'll continue to help you, I'll continue to coach you on how to integrate the stuff that you've learned in your life planning retreat into your day-to-day -day lives, even over time after that. You can find out more about the Life Planning Retreat Guide at lifeplanningguide.com or you can uh, just sign up for our email list and you'll get some information on it right away. You know, knowing where you want to go, setting some goals, making sure they come from where you are, and asking yourself the right questions, that's a key to living life to the fullest. So until next time, I'm your host, Ron Davis. Live life to the fullest.